What's good, YouTube? Hitman X. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub, show your boys some love. So, back to basketball, y'all. Back to basketball. Uh, I apologize to all my audience who, or any of my audience who didn't know about any of that other stuff I was on a couple of days ago. But, we ain't, like I said, we ain't going to make that a habit. We, we, we talk basketball over here, not drama, not foolishness. And like I said, I apologize to anybody who uh, who's here for basketball. So, we're going to stay on basketball from now on. But um, I wanted to speak about uh, this notion that the Phoenix Suns have problems on their bench or um, defensive problems or whatever, right? Because uh, that Clippers game still left a bad taste in my mouth. It really did, man. That um, at second quarter specifically, in which we really had good second quarters in every game except uh, that game versus the Clippers. You know, that was the only game, in my opinion, that I can remember that we had a bad second quarter. We usually have a bad first quarter or a, a pedestrian first quarter. But usually, we're left saying going into the second quarter, okay, when that bench come in, we'll be able to get this game back into into reach, you know. And um, if we, weren't, we weren't able to do that. They actually did the opposite. When the bench came in, they went on a 23 to nothing run, something, something crazy like that, man. It was just, I'm talking about sh shot after shot after shot. It was more Paul George hitting anything he wanted to hit, right? He was hitting follow-away threes. Just shout-out to Paul George. He went crazy that night. He went crazy. And I don't see him doing that too often. So I'm not really mad about that game. It, it happens, you know. You move on to the next game. But I wanted to see where the Phoenix Suns ranked in the advanced stats, you know, just to give clarity, put context to that narrative, you know, of whether or not we have a weak defense or uh, <clears throat> our, our bench needs help. Because I hear a lot of people saying we have a suspect bench. And I disagree, man. I like Cameron Payne. He's been playing solid for us. Um, I've been heavily critical of him. He's been playing solid for us. Uh, Javon Carter, he's a fan favorite. I feel like we should keep him regardless of whoever we get. You know, we need to keep him, man. He's a good locker room guy for us. Uh, Cam Johnson, you know, he, he, he's been inconsistent, but – He's still a solid player for us. Dario Saric, suspect on defense, but like I said, versatile Swiss Army knife. Um, Langston Galloway, Mr. Four-Point Play. We have pieces on the bench that we can work with. You know, I'm comfortable with my bench, but um, I just want, like I said, as a team, I wanted to see where we ranked amongst the NBA as far as these rankings. And, you know, that way we could get a proper gauge. So with the assist, we're one assist shy from leading the league in assists. Um, last year we led the league in assists. I think we had we averaged like 25 assists last year or something like that, something crazy. Or maybe it was 30. I thought it was 30 assists last year we averaged. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I attribute that more to the pace because if you go to the pace, yeah, my bad, my internet. I got the uh, I got the hotel Wi-Fi at work. That's crazy. But um, as y'all see, the pace. We're um, last in the league in pace, you know. And uh, right there with us is the Clippers, you know. And those are two great defensive teams, you know. And mainly, when you have a slow pace like that, a lot of times your defensive uh, ranking, ranking and rating is going to be high because it's less possessions. So that could skew the defensive uh, ratings, you know. That could skew it a bit, you know. It just means, you know, you're slowing the game down, and you're cutting down possessions, you know. But uh, I like the fact that we have a slow pace. I feel like we should keep that, you know. But we should pick spots in which we speed the game up or when we slow it down. Like versus the Clippers, we, we should have ran and transitioned a bit more on them, you know, instead of trying to slow it down, slow it down, and execute every play. There's some plays and some possession in which we have to run the basketball, especially when we're down 30. And um, Devin Booker did a great job at doing that. When Devin Booker got the ball, he pushed the pace. And uh, we got easy buckets, easy transition buckets. We need to continue to do to do that in spots, you know, point blank period. But um, turnovers, let's look at the turnovers. Because I've been heavily critical of the Suns on, on turnovers. And um, we're, in the, we're about at the middle of turnovers, which is good. It's surprising and it's good at the same time, you know. Um, I thought it was worse than what it is just off the strength of how they, you know, value the basketball. But to be average in turnovers, it's not too bad, man. I'll, I'll lay off of them a, a little bit, you know. 
uh, effective field goal percentage. Let's look at that. So we're ninth in the, in the league in effective field goal percentage. Uh, that's not really parlaying to our defense, but I just wanted to really highlight that. You know, it just it just goes to show that we're getting a lot of good shots, and um, we need to make sure we you know we continue that you know regardless of anything we need to make sure we're getting high percentage shots every possession you know and we value the basketball and we keep those turnovers down. Uh, let's look at the defensive efficiency. So we're fourth in the league in, in defensive efficiency, uh, whereas the Clippers are 22. So maybe the pace didn't really play a factor in that. Um, I say we got a long, uh, we got a lot of long, lengthy defenders on that wing, and Mikael Bridges, uh, DeAndre Ayton, um, Jay Crowder. We got a lot, a lot of wing, a lot of depth at the defense, and a lot of versatility. We could go at a lot of different looks. So. Like I said, this whole notion that we have a weak defense, I mean, the, the, advanced, status, the, advanced, the advanced stats, my bad, damn. The say otherwise, right? So just pump your brakes. I understand it's just uh, seven games in, you know. We have a lot to work on. But uh, if you really think about it, for us to play so poorly and to still be in games or to be winning games the way we are, it's really a sign of things to come. Um, I feel like they'll be able to bounce back. Easily, you know, easily. You guys, I gotta remember, this is still a relatively new team. You know, we brought in a few players, a few key players that still need to understand the, the .5 offense. And um, I say, man, I'm not concerned at all. If we can, if we if we can stay at this at the at, at in top ten and all the key stats, we can stay in top ten of those. We're gonna be a good team for for years to come, right? But it's all about consistency and getting better day in and day out. And I really like the fact that we lost that game to the Clippers because we needed a humbling moment, right? We needed to be humble. Sometimes losses can be, um, you can learn from losses. You can take a loss and you can learn from it, right? When you allow people to dictate and um, run a narrative on you and tell you you're this, you're that off of a loss, um, you'll become that, right? But when you actually look yourself in the mirror and you can study film and and learn and build from them losses, that's how you become great, point blank period. So I'm not concerned about the Suns. I know we play tonight, so I will be on the lookout for that. And I'm definitely going to be looking for that bench to step up on defense especially, right? Since we have a weak bench defense, we can't really go to our bench. Um, I'm going to keep a, a key eye off on that. And um, next time I do a breakdown on the Suns, I have video footage to back up, you know, that notion whether or not they have a weak bench or not. We're going really, to really see if they have a weak bench um, because I, I found a way to, you know, to get video footage of that. I don't care about copyrights here. You know, this is Hitman X. I, this is a non-profit organization. I get no money off of YouTube. So I just do this shit for y'all. I do all this for y'all, you know, to, to put context on the Phoenix Suns because a lot of people don't cover them. Outside of the Suns Geek and all those other channels, you know, that I rock with, it's not too many people talking about the Suns. Um, they they may do it better, but they don't get enough credit. So I'm gonna make sure that they do it. You know, I'm gonna make sure that they get their credit that, that that's deserved, and that the Phoenix Suns get the respect that's deserved. Period. Point blank. But uh, hit man next. That's all I got. I'll be back later. I'll probably do a live stream post game. Uh, that way we can chop it up about basketball, man. Speak on some of these teams that I might not watch, that I might not see. So y'all can educate me on those teams, and we can just come in and parlay and chill. Point blank. Period. But hit me next. That's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.